All right, intermediate algebra, solving systems of equations by elimination. This is section 2.3. This is part B of this video. We're working on the word problems in this video. There's three of them here. So I'm on example six, uh, page 78. Uh, you should probably be following along in your book. Um, you could, there's enough white space here in your book that you can actually take notes or you can take notes on paper if you like. The Rogue Scholars has a benefit concert on Osceola campus. The admission fee for children is different from that of adults. A group with two children and three adults pays $19. A family with four children and one adult pays $13. Use a system of linear equations to find the price of admission for a child and for an adult. So the first thing we need to do is actually write the equations. Now, you're going to see the author of your book uses X and Y. I never use X and Y for word problems because when I get down to the bottom and I see that I have x equals 2, I don't know what it means. So I always use uh, variables that have some meaning for me. So I'm going to set up my variables as, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the price of admission for a child and for an adult. So I'm going to use C and A, a child and an adult. I'm not going to use X and Y. You can use X and Y if you like but you better be able to figure out what they mean at the end. Um, and then I'm going to write uh, an equation for the first statement. It says, um, a group with two children and three adults pays $19. So two children would be two times C, and three adults would be three times A, paying $19. So that would be the first equation. The second equation says four children and one adult pays $13. So four children plus one adult pays $13. And these are my two equations here. This is the system I need to solve. Um, I'm hoping you watched the last video before this one because we're using elimination here. Um, the easiest variable to manipulate is the variable that has a coefficient of one. Uh, we could easily turn this into negative three and that would eliminate A when we, buy, when we add them. You could also turn this into negative four to eliminate C. It doesn't really matter which way you're going to go. I'm going to eliminate A. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a blank slide here. Alright, on my blank slide I'm going to rewrite my equations. 2x plus 3y equals 19. 4x plus y equals 13. These are the equations I had on the last slide. I'm going to turn this y into negative 3 so that these eliminate. To turn this to negative 3, I need to multiply the entire equation by negative 3. That will be just a distribute here. So that's going to make now, I'm just bringing this one down, 2x plus 3y equals 19. The second equation will now be negative 12x minus 3y equals negative 39. When I get ready to add them, y's eliminate. These x's are going to turn into negative 10x, and this, these y's are going to turn into negative 20. Divide by negative 10, we get x equals 2. Now, for a word problem, you don't have to, you don't have to identify. There's one solution, the lines intersect, you don't have to identify any of that. You're going to instead answer this um, in complete sentences. So, you know what I did wrong? I did not use the right variables, did I? These variables should have been C and A, shouldn't they? Because now I'm down here to the bottom, I can't figure out what this means. This is a C, this is an A, this is a C, the A is eliminated, so this is C. In other words, a child's ticket costs $2. So let's give some room here. Child's ticket cost, that's an O, $2, and we don't know how much an adult ticket costs yet, do we? So what do we do to find an adult ticket? We go back to one of our original equations. We substitute the child's price in there. That will be here. Let's use this one. 
2c plus 3a equals 19. Two C plus three A equals nineteen. A child's ticket is two dollars, so we substitute the two in there and we can solve for A now. Subtract this four. We have three A equals fifteen or A equals five. And I'm gonna add that on to the bottom of my statement here. Child's ticket cost two dollars and an adult ticket costs five dollars. Okay, for example seven, which is still on page seventy-eight, we have this word problem. Ryan took an algebra test and a quiz last week. He answered 10 questions correctly on the test and one question correctly on the quiz. He earned a total of 52 points. Summer took the same test and quiz. She answered 12 questions on the test and five questions on the quiz correctly. She earned 70 points. How much was each question worth on the test and how much was each question worth on the quiz? All right, so again, I'm gonna use some variables that actually have some meaning. I'm gonna use, let's see, we have test questions and we have quiz questions, so I'm going to use T and Q. And my ver my equations are going to be, let's see, ten. Let's see. Ryan answered ten questions correctly on the test and one question correctly on the quiz. So that's going to give us an equation of ten T plus one Q equals fifty two points. Summer answered. 12 questions on the test and 5 questions on the quiz correctly. So that would be 12 test questions plus 5 quiz questions for a total of 70 points. And these are my two equations. If I'm using elimination, I need to get these coefficients to be opposites. This one will be more difficult. This is a coefficient of 1, so it will be easy to turn this into negative 5 so that these eliminate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this entire equation by negative 5. And that's going to give me a new equation, I'm just scrolling up here, of negative 50t minus 5q equals negative 260. Uh, do not forget when you do this, you're distributing this and negative 5 times 52 gives you negative 260. Then you have this same bottom equation because we didn't change that one. 12t plus 5q equals 70. Then to use elimination, you're going to see your q's eliminate. Make sure they're the opposite signs before you do this because they will not eliminate if they are not opposite signs. When we add this, we get 38t negative 38t equals negative 190 then we divide by 38 negative 38 and we get t equals 5 that means the test questions are worth 5 points we need to find the quiz questions though so we're going to have to go back to one of our original equations it doesn't matter which one you decide to use. I'm going to use the top one. It seems a little bit easier. 10t plus q equals 52. I'm going to write it over here. Ten t plus q equals 52. I know that t equals 5. So I'm going to put that in there. So 10 times 5 plus Q equals 52, or 50 plus Q equals 52. Subtract this 50. I'm trying to isolate Q, I get Q equals 2. So test questions over 5 and quiz questions over 2, but of course it's a word problem, so you're writing your, your answer in a complete set 
uh, sentence. Test questions are worth five points and quiz questions are worth two points. Um, for my class, if you do not express your answer to a word problem in a complete sentence, you will not get full credit. All right, example eight is on page 79. This is the last one for this section, I believe. So let's see what it says. For the spring dance concert, the Performing Arts Center on East Campus sold 200 tickets to Valencia faculty and students and collected $2230 in revenue. If the tickets sold to faculty cost $12 each, where is it? There it is. and the one sold to students cost $10 each. How many tickets were sold to faculty and to students? So my variables, I'm trying to find out the number of tickets sold to faculty and the number of tickets sold to students. Um, a lot of you guys might use S for students. My S's tend to look like fives and it was really confusing to me. So I would use T for students instead of S. You can use S if you can make your S's look really good, not like fives. All right, so what have we got? We've got 200 total tickets sold to faculty and students. So, and always means plus. So the number of faculty plus the number of students tickets equals 200. And that's gonna be our first equation. Faculty plus students equals 200. That's our first equation. Um, the second equation has to do with their value. Altogether, we collected 2230. Faculty tickets cost $12. So that means 12 times the number of faculty students plus student tickets were $10. So 10 times the number of student tickets gives us a total value of 2230. So these will be our two equations. Um, and we're going to use elimination on them. Um, it would be really easy to change this to negative 12 so that it eliminates or change this to negative 10 so it eliminates. Doesn't matter which one you do. Um, in your textbook, the author used the 10, so I think that's probably what I'll do, just so that it matches your textbook. So we want to change this to negative 10. How do we change a 1 to a negative 10? To change a 1 to a negative 10, we will multiply this entire equation by negative 10. That's going to give us a new equation of negative 10f minus 10t equals negative 2,000. The bottom equation hasn't changed. 12f plus 10t equals 2230. Then we're going to eliminate. The t's eliminate, always making sure they are actually opposite signs before I do this elimination. And for f here, I end up with 2f equal to, uh, when I add these, I end up with 230. And then, of course, divide by 2 gives us S f equals 115. That means that 115 tickets were sold, sold to faculty. We still need to know how many were sold to students. So we're going to go back to one of our original equations. Uh, F plus T equals 200 is a pretty simple equation, so let's use that one. I'm going to write it down here. F plus T equals 200. I already know F is 150, so I'm going to substitute it in here. 115 plus T equals 200. To solve for T, we subtract this 115. So T equals 85. 85 tickets sold to students. So we're going to write this uh, solution in a complete sentence.
tickets were sold to faculty and 85 were sold to students. All right, that's it for illumination. I'll see you in class.